from the classroom at the University of California, Santa Cruz. To the field, a small group of scientists are braving the cold in order to further understand the effects of climate change. Very few research groups get to go to uh, the interior of Antarctica. We've been here for uh, five days. Professor Slavik Tulacic is one of only dozens of U.S. scientists studying glaciers and ice sheets. When people come back to us and expect an answer, one of the reasons why there is no ready answer for what's going to happen, say, in 100 years, is because we just don't know enough and there's enough people working on it. Tulacic is leading a team to study and record the activity of the lakes underneath these glaciers. We know from other studies that the more water you have beneath ice, the faster it tends to move. So understanding how ice sheets move is the key to understanding how much sea level rise we expect in the future. I'm Nadine. And I'm Nadine Quintana Krupinski is a graduate student on the team. She explains how all of their time in Antarctica was spent collecting data and dealing with the elements. All you have in this emptiness is a few tents and a few, you know, snow machines and some equipment that you need. So you're really all alone out there. The key element is a red parka with uh, very, a lot of insulation. Basically, it's made in Canada, in a place where they know a lot about cold, and it really is like wearing a sleeping bag. The only thing they have to show for their trip now are their computer files. This proves that there is, it's a real lake. That and their equipment. But that's the part of it that is kind of fun because you get to be a mechanic, a fuelie, and, and a cook, and, and then a scientist. They also left radars and GPS units in various locations. So this is an example of one, the, one of the GPS units we took to the field with us. The units will continue to send them more data until they return in October. So it was a lot of manual labor to do it. Worth it? Of course worth it, yeah. <laughs> and hopefully it will give scientists all over the world a clearer vision of sea level rise. For example, a large part of Florida would disappear under ocean if sea level rises even a couple feet. And the same is true for a lot of low-lying areas. We will basically help the uh, modelers who have ice sheet models and climate models uh, tweak the numbers so that the uncertainties and predictions of what the sea level will be in 100 years will be narrower. In the meantime, Tulacic will continue to inspire others to study glaciology. I love going there. To me, it's like being an astronaut. You know, it's uh, like going uh, to another planet without going to another planet.